fuck. Warning. Toluene and ethanol are flammable. Fire safety protocols must be in place. Chloroacetic acid is very toxic and will cause chemical burns on skin contact. Wear gloves when handling it. Ethyl chloroacetate is a strong tear gas. This reaction must be performed in a fume hood. For this reaction, we will be reacting chloroacetic acid and ethanol with paratoluene sulfonic acid as the catalyst and toluene as the solvent. We begin by adding all the reagents into the reaction flask. This video is step one of my modafinil analog synthesis series, where we synthesize an analog of the anti-narcoleptic drug modafinil. In this video, we will be synthesizing ethyl chloroacetate, a useful organic reagent, and a potent tear gas. We will use this in the next episode to synthesize chloroacetamide. Later, this will be used to synthesize fluoromodafinil. We now have our reaction mixture, and we have to get rid of the water which is formed as a byproduct to drive the reaction to completion. To do this, we will use something called a Dean Stark trap. You should check out Nerd Rage's video on how useful this piece of apparatus is. In this case, however, it really isn't necessary and a simple distillation can be done to get rid of the water. The toluene will bring along some of the water with it, and the water will sit at the bottom of the Dean Stark trap. The reaction being done is a Fischer esterification. The alcohol attacks the carboxylic acid and with the help of an acid catalyst leaves water as the byproduct, which must be removed since the reaction exists in an equilibrium between our starting material and our product. After no more water is collected in the bottom of the trap, the reaction is stopped and neutralized with sodium bicarbonate. We now have a dark brown mixture of our product, remaining starting materials, and various side products formed in the reaction. To get out our desired product, we will have to distill it out. These are the volatile compounds remaining in our flask. And these are the boiling points of each of them. As we can see, the boiling point of ethyl chloroacetate is by far the highest. Once the ethanol, toluene, and water have been removed, and the distillation temperature reaches 145 degrees Celsius, we can start collecting our product. Our yield is 26 grams of product, meaning 57% yield, which is okay considering that I spilled some while working with it, for fuck's sake. Fuck. Sadly, for some reason I don't have a lot of footage from this reaction, so this is the best I could do with what I have. I still hope you will enjoy this series. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you will uh, tune in to the rest of the series uh, where we're going to be synthesizing chloroacetamide. And be sure to hit like and subscribe and comment to uh, do an E1 elimination on the YouTube algorithm.